Today we're here fishing at Chesil Beach. We've got a rod for my dad and a rod for myself. And we're fishing a nice sand eel and ragworm in all in one. And we're just waiting. We're in our little tent. We're nice and warm. It's quite rough today. It's also really murky. So I'll update you on what happens next. Well, we've had the rods out for about half an hour now and we still haven't had any fish but we have had little knocks but not a hundred percent fish but we're still hopeful it we're hoping that the uh, rain goes away and also we get when it gets dark the fish start to feed well, the main like fish we're looking for today is like i want to catch some dogfish and cod a nice pollock would be good and some rays that'll be cool but a, a lot of the rays and stuff won't be around because of it's winter so i'll update you again soon Nice little one. I'll uh, take some photos now. So, yeah. What else you got? A power in. I'll take some photos. Then. Okay. I sh I cannot. I'm gonna put this one back. You got Ace? Yeah. You, you got to tickle his beard before you put him back, Peyton. That mean? Tickle their goatee beard. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. It's only got one. Yeah. Okay. Well You're gonna go and throw him back. Well, Dad just caught this nice pouting. Bit bigger than my one. Nice one, swallowed with that ragworm. So, yeah, I'm gonna get this rod back out and then sit down and wait. Well, it's just about getting dark now, and Dad's had a pout in, I've had a pout in, and a little congreal. And we've got my rod's got a double on, and Dad's got a bigger bait on. And it's just getting dark. We The tide's at, um, gonna be at its highest at half past six, which is in 10 minutes. So then we're hoping it should, we should get a lot of bites, and it should be really good. Rod's good. Just a little knock. My rod just had a little knock then. And which one's your rod? That one with the light on. So yeah. Hoping we get another one. I hope it'll be something like a nice bass or cod next. I wouldn't mind like a bigger uh, congreal. So. Yeah, I'll update you on what happens next. Oh, 
also the wind has stopped now and the rain has stopped um so it's a bit more calm now because as before the rain was coming down like mad and the w and the wind was blowing up against the tent the tent crazily get another little knock might be a bite what do you think you get next oh that might be a bite yeah. i think that's a bite dad that's a bite Thing next fish, I've got a double hook so I can pout in and hmm, let me think. Uh, two pout in. I think I'm getting a rock. Like, I think I'm getting a bite down. So I have a feel. So I feel that. Yeah, so I'm just about to go check my rod because there's a little nibbling going on. Uh, I think it is anyway. So I'm going to go check it. So I don't think that was anything there, it could have been, I just pulled the line tight, it might have been like, I don't know, a little congrill playing with it, but not a definite bite yet, so I'm going to leave it for now. It looks like it's in contact with something though, look. Hmm. I think it might just be the pool there. I think there's something on. I think I'm into a fish, I'm not 100% sure, but we had a little feel and a little knock in, so I think there might be a fish on looking over there the nice city all lit up there's a lot of um nice there's a lot of like some seaweed and cuttlefish everywhere so like over here cuttlefish there's a load of like stuff all washed up there's a cuttlefish there there's a load along the beach up there's the little town it looks really nice at night 
just getting the rod to fuck out. That's our little setup bit. So, yeah. Well, we just got this dog fish. Well, Dad got it, but I was holding it here. This is what I wanted to catch today. Really nice. Oh, it's really strong. He is strong. He is strong. He's really strong. There you go. Look at that. It's got a little cut on him, but it's fine. Look at that. Oh, I'm going to take some photos now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's now dark. It's about... It's half past seven. And um, we just caught a dogfish a minute ago. It's... It's quite a good fishing trip this session, and we've just got the rods out. It's, it's been quite quiet for a while, but we're still waiting. That dogfish really made me happy because I haven't caught dogfish in ages, and I really wanted to catch them. They're really cool. They're like skins, like um, sandpaper, actually. But no, we've got. I've swapped the round to a bigger rig now with a bigger bait to try catch a bigger fish. And Dad's gone on to the um, smaller one now, so yeah, hope we get one soon. Well, we've just got another dogfish. This one was on the bigger rod. And it went and we picked it up and it came in and we didn't, it was quite a smaller dogfish this one. It's really cool, I'll unhook it and then take the photos and get it back. Oh dad, I need help with this one. Had another dogfish. He's bending round a lot because he's so strong. But look at him, cute thing. I like dogfish. This one was on the one with the two hooks, the smaller baits, and it's really nice. I love the pattern and its skin. It's really cool as well. Oh. oh right. Yeah, that one just went. I think. Alright, so get this one back then and yep. get your other rod, alright? Is that? You got something? Uh, yeah, it's quite, it's really heavy. Remember, use the, use the waves to bring it in. Looking at here. It's 
bit stuck in its mouth, but should be able to get it out. There you go. Right. Well, this is my first ever dog food. It's probably the smallest one of the day. Pretty nice. We're going to take some photos and get them back and get the biggest fish of the day. This one's bigger. Oh, that's a good one. I think this one's this is a lot bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Well done. On down in the Oh, he's big. That's yeah, he's a good size. Open in his mouth. Biggest fish of the day. Bigger dog fish. Really strong. Can't even get him straight. Yeah, really nice one. Got big gut on there. The toy took it, and I thought a massive fish took it. Just pop a bent rod down. But definitely the biggest fish of the day. And take some more photos and get them in. Well, we've packed up after we just caught that uh, another little pouting and then it was all cold and raining so we decided to pack up and we're at Brady Pole, we just had a little look in the shallow to see if there were any carp but there wasn't, it was way too murky and it was it was quite good to get out and do something apart from carp fishing or pike fishing for once so subscribe and like the video and maybe I'll go back out there again next week. Right.